dear students i welcome all of you in the session of traffic engineering and management so up till now we have discussed about the thing related with the traffic system management now in this session what we are going to do is we are going to continue with the remaining things of from our session So as you all know that we have been discussing about the traffic system management, and in this session we are going to uh, cover the part three of this, this traffic system management, that is intelligent transport system. Dear students, you might have heard this term intelligent transport system number of times. Many of you have taken. your design engineering project also as the tra intelligent transportation system so basically what does it mean by intelligent transport system what is that intelligent element which is that intelligent element that is being included in the particular intelligent transportation system so let me tell you that emerging transportation system that is comprised of an advanced information and telecommunication network for user road and vehicle what is its its is the emerging transportation system that is comprised of an advanced information and telecommunication network for users roads and vehicles it is the integrated application see it is the integrated which it is the combined and expanded application of advanced technologies that uses electronics computers communications and advanced sensors that means if we want to develop a module of transportation system that is basically based on this intelligent transport system then what we have to do is we have to use the integrated application of electronics computers communications and advanced sensors it is a collective name for a number of technologies there are various kind of technologies being considered in this which are based on the technology approach and this technologies are based on the approach that they are designed to improve the quality safety and efficiency of transport network that means the technology that we will be choosing in order to develop this intelligent transport system must have the approaches such as improved quality improved safety and improved transportation efficiency the system or this system often combines communication processing data storage module to provide the integrated travel information management system for one or more organization that means with the help of the implementation of this intelligent transport system the combination of communication processing and data storage modules is being done and that is used to provide the integrated travel information management system integrated travel information management system from one or more organizations this system collects the information about the current state of transport that what is the existing situation existing scenario of this current transportation network it processes that information and either directly manage or indirectly manage in the way to allow the people to decide to go best use of the network that means what the system will do this system will collect the information that okay this is the present situation this is the information regarding the present situation and based on that collected information what it will do it will eitherly direct manage or it will either or by indirectly manage which are those important 
intelligent transport system so let us learn about those things that first is about the area traffic system for the effective traffic signal system so first is about the area traffic system second is about en route driver information system third is about the route guidance for this travel demand management we have learned about this fifth is about the traveler service information then it is about emission testing and mitigation then it is automation challenging system then it is vehicle information and communication system and then it is parking guidance system so these are the various elements or services based on intelligent transport system it is area traffic system it is en route driver information system that is called as edis then route guidance you might have observed this route guidance in the google gps travel demand management travel as service information how much emission is being done so emission testing uh, emission testing of various gases and their mitigation measures that how to solve that automation challenging system vehicle information system and parking guidance system so these are the important services that are related with the it uses then let us discuss about the benefits of its that what are the benefits first is about it improves the safety it improves the customer satisfaction it reduces the cost it provides environmental benefits also and there are other benefits also so which are those benefits safety customer satisfaction cost saving environment and other let us discuss about the advanced traffic management system that is called as atms that was this uh, this part of this area traffic system see atms stands for advanced traffic management system this system integrates various sub system that is cctv cameras vehicle detection communications variable message system into a coherent signal single interface means this system such as cctv vehicle detection communication and variable message system are coherent into coherent into one single interface so one single interface is will provide information like this and that will provide the real time data on the traffic status and with that will predict the data for the efficient planning and operation that okay this is the current scenario and if we want to predict that what is what will be the scenario in the future then it will give us the value of that also it will give us the value of mitigation measures also that how we can mitigate this kind of things how we can efficiently plan and operate these things then it is advanced traveler information system that was also one of the part of this see this is traveler service information if it that is called as advanced traveler information system so this system provides the users of transportation system travel related information so that they can make their decisions that what route they should choose which route that they should choose what will be the estimated travel time that is this called as eta and then they can avoid the congestion just like we are getting the information whenever we want to go to a place and if you put that location in the google gps then gps google gps will tell us that the map will tell us that okay this is the estimated time arrival if you take this route if you take another route then this will be 4 minutes slower that will be 5 minute faster so this is how it can work so basically that is gps enabled in vehicle navigation system that is now as observed in number of cars dynamic road message signs for real time information on the traffic congestion bottlenecks bottlenecks means very traffic uh, there is higher traffic congestion accident 
and alternate route information during the road closure and maintenance need to be provided if we are discussing about the advanced traveler information system <coughs> web, there is a website there is the development of website to provide color coded network map that shows the congestion level just like we are viewing that thing on the google map and then the advanced vehicle control system these are the tools and concepts that enhance the driver's control see this is totally depend upon the vehicle so it will be indirectly related with the driver so driver's control of the vehicle to make the travel safer make it more efficient and in vehicle collision warning system to alert the driver about the possible imminent collision in more advanced evcs application that means advanced vehicle control system application the vehicle could automatically brake or steer away from the collision based on the input from the sensors given by the vehicle that is being observed in the car of tesla <coughs> and many other cars also then let us discuss about the traffic management measures see many of the urban cities and urban streets carry traffic volume for which they were not simply designed so this is very heterogeneous and haphazard kind of movement and due to this unavoidable delay or inevitable delays inevitable congestion inevitable accident is been observed the resultant ills can be get over by some extent by if we control the traffic if we impose certain regulatory measures certain rules if we impose certain enforcement measures so that in such cases this, this can be delayed or this can be reduced so what kind of traffic measures should be included such as traffic signal regulatory measures restriction on speed parking size of vehicle this kind of thing should be there and the traffic management measures are called as traffic system management and some of the popular systems are restriction on turning moment tidal flow operation we have to provide exclusive bus lanes we have to provide the traffic segregation one way street we should close the side street and the traffic calming such as traffic calming means in such thing you have to provide such enforcement and regulatory measures with the traffic is automatically calmed down see this topic you have to go through from the textbook in detail also so this is about the traffic system management i hope you have understood the concept thoroughly thank you